항상 처음은 설레이지 널 보러 가는 길도 마치 구름 위지 너에게 하고 싶은 말을 생각하다가 이렇게 Hi guys, today we are going to make 버섯 잡채 So it's a japchae, but you know, traditional japchae is always made with delicious beef. But I'm going to show you how to make plant-based whey. And this is dried shiitake mushroom that I rehydrate in hot water for about 20, 30 minutes, or even longer if you like to. They are nice and soft right now. And these are, so far, for my taste, the best way to recreate this japchae in plant-based way. You can use a fresh shiitake mushrooms, but dried shiitake mushrooms just have a different, slightly different texture and a little more deeper flavor, which is I prefer. And keep this dried shiitake mushroom broth because these are so delicious to make any kind of soup. This is the like real deal. I love making jajangmyeon or um, doenjangjigae or kimchi jjigae or whatever soup or hot pot, fantastic. And we are just going to slice this shiitake mushrooms. I don't know how you like your japchae, but I like my japchae with a lot more vegetables than the noodles. So that's how I like it. So I'm preparing a lot of vegetables uh, in my japchae, but you can always adjust to your like. I mean, you can follow my recipe exactly, exact amount of measurement and everything, but you know, just what do you call re-measure it or just adjust it to your light. You don't have to do exactly the same, even though all the sauces are actually top notch. All right. I'm gonna chop one garlic. Right. Let's chop the garlic into the mushrooms because we are going to marinate this mushroom first. By the way, do you like my new setup? So I actually brought you guys into my kitchen. Uh, we were filming in dining room because there's so much beautiful backdrop but then i just realized that, you know what why not just filming in the kitchen it's so much easier because all my sauces are right here or my tools are right here <laughs> you know what i mean so anyways to marinate the mushroom we need some soy sauce can you maybe do it like more quiet way Okay, I, I told Jacob to, you can come in to get a better shot with the camera, but then like he cannot stop making noise. <laughs> if you guys are okay with that, we're just gonna let Jacob to be free, okay? And some agave nectar or sugar, some mirin, seasoned rice wine. If you don't have a mirin, you can skip it. Some sesame oil. Ooh. Got out. I'm not used to using this kind of a bottle for sesame oil. Black pepper, and go ahead and mix it with your hand. I mean, you could use chopstick, but you know, in Korean, we call it sonmat. You have to mix food with hands to have that umami love taste in your food. <laughs> and we're gonna just let them marinate, like so. Let me wash my hands. While the mushroom is marinating, we are going to cut up our veggies. First, let's just slice our onion and some yellow bell pepper. I used to love adding uh, egg omelette for the beautiful yellow color and extra protein in my chapche. But I was like, oh, I wanna make all vegetable one. How can I do it? Oh, yellow bell pepper, perfect. <laughs> or red bell pepper would be beautiful too. Just yellow is my favorite color. Just julienne it. So we are going to cut all our veggies into same length and same shape like this long julienne. This is probably the most time-consuming part to make japchae, but after that, everything is just really easy. And next, some carrot. So you can actually cut it with your hand, but why if you have this tool? <laughs> this is my, um, what do they call it? It's like julienne tool, slicing tool from Triangle. So this is Triangle, is from Germany. And this is a really great brand for vegetable slicers, so I like them. They're a little pricey, to be honest, but I haven't looked back since I purchased their stuff. So if you like to have the same one, not sponsored, uh, I will put the link down below where I purchased from Amazon, okay? Next, some red chili. So this is completely optional, okay? Not every Korean add red chili in it. 
but I just like to add some color because I'm trying to make this more like a rainbow japchae, you know? <laughs> so Jacob decides to go without the tripod. <laughs> He's tired of them telling him, posing around and what to do and stuff right now. But <laughs> Don't come over here and nod. <laughs> oh my God, okay. I know we have shiitake mushroom is marinating and it's very just like this onion shiitake mushroom bell pepper carrot and the red chili will be very delicious and plenty of um, vegetables but I'm gonna add additional mushrooms this one called uh, shimeji mushrooms or beach mushrooms you can find them either brown head or white head whatever you prefer okay, just cut the bottom like so separate them like so and since I love mushroom and mushrooms when they cook they shrink a lot like a spinach well not quite as spinach but a lot so I'm gonna use one more mushroom which is enoki mushroom I know Oahu maybe not as hard to get enoki mushroom but in Maui tell me about just, I just have a whole new level of appreciation for enoki mushrooms now. So anyways, I'm gonna also use this because they are really fun texture. It's amazing with noodles. All right, I think all the vegetables are ready to go, ready to stir fry. Only one vegetable has left is this spinach, which is I'm going to blanch it in the boiling water over there, pot of water back there, before I start to cooking my glass noodles. We call it tangmyeon. So I'm going to go ahead and cook my spinach into the boiling water over here. Go! Make sure you add some salt in it. This is a Hawaiian sea salt. It's a little different, huh? I never showed you my back before. <laughs> and as soon as the spinach goes in, get ready to take out because you don't want to overcook the spinach. All right, spinach is done. Oh, okay. Right oh, okay. All right, spinach is done. I'm gonna set aside and let's start cook the noodles. Time to stir fry all our veggies that we prepared earlier. Should I just bring the stove over here? Let's just do it here. I hope you guys don't mind. To the pan, go ahead and add some cooking oil. Oh, the pan was too hot. What I was thinking. Cool the pan down, cool the pan down. Onion first, pinch of salt. We are cooking from the light color vegetable to darker color vegetable. And I get a lot of questions that, Sanghyun, can I just stir fry the vegetables just all together? Yes, you can. You know what, as, as a Korean, I just cannot do that because I learned to not to do that. Nowadays, there's actually a really great, quick, easy japchae recipe, which is just one pot japchae. It's like, it's been viral in Korea. Since then, my mom cooks like that too, but Honestly, it doesn't taste same to me. So each vegetable needs to season with a little pinch of salt because that brings their natural flavor and the color. Time for the carrots, salt, and the red chilies. Don't forget the salt. The flavor is coming from the layers and layers of the seasoning. Right here, you know what I forgot? My mushrooms are white and I completely forgot to cook them first. So if you made the same mistake as I did, it's no big deal, just wipe your pan off. Because from your carrot, there's a lot of this um, orange, orange color coming from, from the carrot. I'm gonna cook these two mushrooms together because they're gonna cook same anyway. So add a little salt. All right. Lastly, our shiitake mushroom. I'm gonna add a little more sesame oil because my pan is really dry. While my mushroom is finished cooking, I'm going to go ahead and drain my noodles because they are done cooking. Let's finish our spinach. Just squeeze all the water out because we don't want japchae to be like really watery. You could use baby spinach and just stir fry as other vegetables on the pan. But when I'm doing show and I feel like I have to show you guys the proper way of making, the hardest way of making, you know. 
Uh, anyways, you could actually use kale if you want to. To make japchae, the vegetables can be like really, you know, whatever you have in your refrigerator too. So anyways, this bowl is where I marinate uh, my mushrooms. I'm just gonna use it because I don't like creating another dish <laughs> to clean later. Even though Jacob doing all the dishes. But anyways, I just chopped the one garlic. I'm gonna add to the spinach. A little bit of salt, some pepper, sesame oil. So this is a pretty much spinach, um, shigimchi namur, the Korean side dish. So it's actually more convenient if you actually make this ahead. But if you just decide to use baby spinach and just gonna start fry it as other vegetables, you don't, you don't have to season like this, okay? Mm. So good. Okay. Everything is ready to go. Let me swallow my spinach. Bring the largest mixing bowl that you have. Drain the noodles. Oof. Set aside for a little bit because we need to mix up our sauce. So you can actually season the japchae like how my mom do. Just season it as you go. But I found the flavor mixes up so much better when you actually measure it and mix ahead because the noodles start to absorb the sauce right away. So if you just add poor soy sauce and then like uh, agave nectar or sugar, like some part might be salty and some part might be sweet. It just not even taste, you know what I mean? Actually, I'm gonna put some sesame oil, plenty of them on the noodles for me. Black pepper, let's mix. So what I like to do is actually pour this sauce about three quarter or two third of it directly to the noodles. And the rest of the sauce add with other vegetables. So we wanna make sure the noodles actually absorb this flavor first before all those vegetables get it. Because, I need the tongue. And if the noodles is too long like this, you can actually cut it. So I mixed two different brands noodles in here. One is a Cheongjang one, Korean brand from Korea. And one was, I don't want to bless this brand, so I'm not going to say the name because it, it didn't show in the video. But it's a Korean brand in America. No, buy Cheongjang one, <laughs> so much better. I'm going to do this for my beauty shop. So I'm going to add onion like this. And then bell pepper like this, gorge, and then spinach like this, and the mushroom, more mushrooms. You don't have to do this. I just feel like I have to do it because I'm a food blogger, you know? <laughs> Things I do for you guys or for camera. Look how beautiful it is. You want stool? Stool? So before we mix it, we have one more thing to do. This is not necessary, but if you want, I mean, because my japchae recipe is already bomb diggity, but if you want like extra bomb diggity, extra flavor and fragrance, grind some toasted sesame seeds and add it into japchae. You can buy already grinded sesame seeds with kolke sogum. The fragrance are not the same. You have to go through this process. You will never look back. <sighs> I can already smell it from here. It's so good. So we're gonna add it like this and then later on garnish with the, the whole sesame seeds too. <laughs> Scared the out of me. Pour all this sesame seeds. Rest of the sauce. Time to mix. This is the beauty of Korean cuisine. We eat with our eyes first, how beautifully it decorated, and then mix everything. Even though japchae is usually served as mixed. But at least the cooks enjoy that. Okay, oh, it's actually cooled down. I'm gonna mix it with my hand now. Let's dig in. What did I say about mixing with the bare hand in Korean kitchen? 
This is really well balanced meal if you think about it. I don't make japchae for like regular meals. It's like holiday meal for me. It's like a turkey and stuffing kind of the deal to me. So it doesn't taste right <laughs> if I eat like a regular days. Because of the freshly grinded sesame seeds, the fragrance is like another level. I think it's about time for me to taste it. If you don't mind me. Come on, Jacob. I'm trying to give you a little more clear bite. Yeah, Not as messy as the first one that I just made. I always have to do it like this because I'm so. Mm. 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 So good, huh? Mm. Mm. Good. By the way, Jacob and I, we are only two people gonna eat this dish, so don't mind us. Mm. Mm. It's so good! Mm. Yeah, so we are adding a little more sesame seeds. The bird is ready to eat. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my puzzle japchae recipe. If you liked my japchae recipe, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. More delicious and authentic Asian plant-based recipes. And I will see you next time. Bye guys. Hopefully I don't have anything on my teeth, especially spinach. <laughs> Set up a team